Louisiana Beer Reviews Castile 7 Rubus Raspberry Ale. This raspberry ale is from Van Hon Honsebroek Brewery. It's a Belgian ale. It has this like a shrink wrap plastic label. It's got some pretty artwork on it, blueberries, uh, raspberries, sorry. So this Castile Brewery Van Honsebroek I think it was open in 2009. It's the new brewery. They said the old one was too small. I think they still use the old one, but um, <clears throat> couldn't couldn't keep up with the production demands. Said to drink this about 41 degrees. Yes, that'll be the temperature when I finally crack it because uh, it's a very warm and humid humid morning. But at least it's mostly cloudy, which should help with the heat a little bit. Brewed within the Kingdom of Belgium. Within the Kingdom of Belgium. Okay, there's a code, but it doesn't make any sense to me. And I'm usually pretty good about figuring out these codes. So what is this actually? Well, they say right here, a malt beverage with raspberries and natural flavor. So another flavored malt beverage. All right. Which seems to have taken over the market. thing is spilling some of these tall cans they'll do that this is a 500 milliliter they didn't say anything about coloring it so that's what it looks like it's a brown probably brown normally uh, the raspberries might could probably make it darker um, doesn't look like it's filtered has a thin off-white head might be thicker and a narrower glass. I have this chalice glass. All right, so um, I think maybe this is not 500 milliliters. Um, beer of the Eternal Summer. Yep, 500 milliliters. Milliliters, and I bought this for 57 cents. True story, not gonna say where. My friend David is like, don't say where. I said, okay, I won't. All right, so I see lots of chunks. Oh, yeah, there's chunks everywhere, so it must be um, just chunks of raspberry. All right. It smells like a Belgian brown ale, really. Uh, you know, like the, uh, that you get that weird yeastiness with the Belgian beers that some people call it like uh Oh, my hair. Farmhouse type thing. Not really a horse blanket here, but I don't know, some kind of candy, sugar maybe, yeast. Uh, it doesn't smell or taste like any American beers you get, unless you get some from Ama Gang in New York State. All right, taste time. Cheers. It's a good aroma. It's just uh, gamey and kind of funky monkey and pungent. Mm -hmm. very fruity and not in the you know like fruit extract flavoring that you get which comes from nature I mean if you get raspberry natural raspberry flavoring it's an extract and it comes from the raspberries but they're not dumping actual raspberries in the product with those like that one I had the 99 brands black cherry but you can tell they put the real fruit and they were saying that on the website they use real fruit okay the 99 Brands Black Cherry, they're not over there in Glenmore, at Glenmore Distillery in Owensboro, Kentucky, dumping in real black cherries. No way. So it's natural raspberries, the real fruit taste. You almost get some like the, like the, the leaves. It's almost like somebody went back there in those woods and picked raspberries. We don't have raspberries back there that I'm aware of. We have a lot of blackberries in season can pick buckets full actually I ought to do that and try to make my own raspberry beer like get up but I got no way to seal it I could put it in grow I could smash it and pour it into grow beer and cap it I won't do it but I could
it's heavy bodied. It's got a thickness to the mouthfeel, a puree, like a sort of like raspberry preserves type of thing if you had raspberry preserves, which you can buy. Um, yeah, so that's overpowered the beer flavor. There's an under flavor of brown bread crust and under flavor, but the overriding flavor is the raspberry puree. Semi-sweet finish. Bitterness, one out of five. Hop cones, it, it contains hops, of course. Malt beverages must contain hops. Uh, sweetness, four and a half out of five sugar cubes. And it could be coming from beet sugar that they're adding and the, just the sweetness from raspberries. Tartness, it's probably three out of five warheads. All right, so this is one of the best flavor malt beverages I've ever had. You know, I, I mean, those American ones, they're pretty good. But they're, like I said, they're not using actual fruit, usually. Some... Okay, the mic's harder. They, they said they use actual lemons. Okay. But now the other flavor, like if it's Mike's harder, um, you know, blood orange, it's going to be that blood orange flavor. It's not going to be that they're cutting up blood oranges and putting it in there. Uh, um, but maybe they did get some you know, not suitable for the produce section, some the ones that turned and they dehydrated and they might soak them in there. That could be, I guess it could be. But those don't have this, none of those that I'm talking about have this rich flavor. This natural fruit, excuse me, natural fruit flavor. Neither do the ones from Canada, the club tails, although those are very well made. Those just taste like, the ones I'm talking about, Steel Reserve Alloy Series, another one. It just tastes like mass production, flavored beers which is what they are and this is mass production too but it's more, it's more in depth uh, now some of the ones coming from Mexico like the Modelo series the, the like the the strawberry one and the watermelon they have the chunk you can see the chunks of the watermelon and the strawberry in it so those but those are salted so those are like a type of goza this is not salted um Beer Advocate doesn't have enough. Oh, that Belgian yeast is coming in now. Beer Advocate doesn't have enough check-ins to give a score, so they got N8. Rape Beer. They're giving it a 40. They don't like it. But in the style, they're giving it an 83 for a fruited beer. So that's telling you they don't like the style. To go from an F overall to a, a good score in the style is telling you they don't like the style. Um, untapped, uh, yeah, like a 73 out of 100. It'd be like an 83 on Beer Advocate. So they're saying it's good. Rape beer is saying it's good depending on how you look at it. Um, now, you say, well, I hate raspberries, but I hate this. Uh, yeah, pretty sure you would. The closest thing I can think of to an American beer, and this is going to make sense, are the flavor malt beverages called the Blue Raz, the Blue Raspberry flavor. Steel Reserve Alloy Series Blue Raz. Anything from Mike's Hard or maybe, I think they make one. Smearing off. The smash series, but they usually mix two flavors. They, they always do. They smash two together. That's why I call it smash. Uh, so they wouldn't have a pure raspberry. Um, Seagram's Escape Spiked. I'm, th I'm pretty sure they have a blue raspberry. Um, maybe the Smirnoff did do that for the uh, red, white, and berry. I think that's, but they might have three different types of berry. But uh, but those that I'm talking about, and other companies have blue raz. That's what those those taste a lot like this, but without that natural like vegetative, you know, leaf and everything, 
flavor, that earthy flavor, like fresh picked. And the puree, they don't have that, but they have the same flavor. Those blue rasp ones, if you get them, and you don't even have to get alcohol, you can get like a blue rasp icy, <laughs> or, a ta or a free freezy pop, or um, anything that says blue rasp is going to taste like this. Of course, they don't use, there's no such thing as a blue raspberry. What they're doing is they're taking raspberry extract flavoring or dehydrated raspberries, or like I say, turned, that they would never dream of selling in a store. But, you know, they're not going to make you ill or anything. And they're adding blue food color into it. Some Somebody back in the 1950s came up with that flavor. Blue raspberry. And it it caught on. And he just had this idea to add blue food color and call it blue raspberry. So that, that caught on. And um, that's, you know, what they sell. And... It's very popular, and, and, and yes, this, these ants are crawling all over the ground, and I don't know why they're attracted to my feet. All right, um, so enough of that. Uh, oh, yeah, Jones would be another good example, Jones Soda Company. Uh, but any, I could keep naming them. It's not accomplishing much. They all taste like this, except this is way better. All right, so I'm going to score this a 99 out of 100, 9.9 .9 out of 10. It's a... It's an outstanding product for a flavor malt beverage. One of the best I've ever had, and I'm going to end this review. Now, like I say, if you can't find this and you want that experience, but at a lesser extent, maybe at A-, minus, you know, still very well made. Get to like Steel Reserve Blue Raz. You'll see what I mean. You'll get the, you'll get the picture. And that's 8%. So you, and this is 7 Yeah, you'll get the picture. All right, so laissez-le bon temps relay, and I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Belgium and take a brewery tour.